This is a demonstration of an experiment that we're doing with our AC power grid system here in the instrumentation lab. We have six generating stations set up. This is the Diablo Miner generating station. It's got a protective relay, a Schweitzer Model 551, looking for the amount of current coming out of the generator onto the grid. Right now the generator's not running, we're just doing a static test here with the relay, but we wanted to show you what can be done with Modbus as a communications protocol between the relay and a PLC. So if we come around to the other side of the door, we can see inside of here, we've got the protective relay, and then we also have a uh, Automation Direct, Direct Logic 205 PLC. It's actually a Koyo PLC marketed by Automation Direct. And that's doing all the control and interlock functions for the generator. But right now we've got a program to also be a Modbus master talking through a serial network, uh, through the serial port to the back of the Schweitzer relay. Because the Schweitzer relay, like so many other industrial devices, talks Modbus over serial. And so what we're doing here is using a PLC program. Here's the live view of the program. We have an instruction here, Modbus network read instruction. And what we're doing here is we're using um, unit ID, that's a Modbus address uh, right there. And we're addressing the register we want to read out of the Schweitzer relay. And then we uh, put in the Modbus uh, address that we want to read from, the number of registers, and then which address inside the do more PLC that we want to write the information into. And we've got three such Modbus read instructions because we're using this right now to read the phase currents on three phases of the relay. So going over here to the relay again, we have three phase current in inputs that we're going to be wiring up later on to our generator, phase A, phase B, phase C. We won't be using the phase neutral for this application, but right now we're driving current in to phase C. We've got a relay test set. We've got dialed up to inject a certain amount of current into phase C. And on the face of the relay, we can actually see here that we have, there we go, oh, there we go, sorry. So we've got some uh, currents here, phase A, one amp, phase B, two amps, it's actually kind of bobbling around zero. Phase C is what we're driving current into, we're showing 54 amps, that's scaled current, it's not actually 54 amps to the back of the relay, it's much less than that, but it's scaling it according to the ratio of the CTs that we're using. And what we're doing with the PLC, we're reading those three registers, phase A, phase B, and phase C, and we're going to be reporting those currents on our HMI unit. So if we walk over here to our HMI, this is the automa Automation Direct HMI connected over Ethernet to all of the generating station PLCs. If we come over here, we can see here's the Diablo Miner generating station uh, detail screen. And down here in the lower left-hand corner, you can see the readouts for phase A, phase B, and phase C. So keep in mind the PLC has no analog inputs for reading the current from the generator. It's simply reading those currents using Modbus through the Schweitzer uh, relay. The Schweitzer relay is there for protection, but it does a decent job of measuring current. In this case, we're going to be using the current measurements for load balancing. It wouldn't be accurate enough for revenue, but it'd be uh, good enough for load balancing between the different, different generators. So just an illustration of how we can use Modbus so the PLC can get information it otherwise would not have uh, using the Schweitzer Relay as a data acquisition device. It is also possible to use Modbus to have the PLC write data into the Schweitzer Relay. So we can, for example, uh, clear the target flags or do any other number of functions, set bits inside of the Schweitzer Relay as needed. Uh, you want to be very careful doing that, of course, because you don't want to override any uh, important features of that protective relay. So we're just using it right now for the demonstration to read the current that's going through the three phases. But this is going to be very useful to us and also a great demonstration of, of the power of Modbus and how you can use that to interface different devices.